Um, one of my favorite songs of my own to sing that is fun is it was this, the song that was the title of my last album, The Other Side of Down. It was just kind of the theme of what I was trying to do with the album and where I was in that part of my life and uh, just trying to look on the, the, the good side of things and looking at things in a different way, different perspective. And, um, just about putting one foot in front of the other and just keep on moving forward despite what may be going on or how confusing <laughs> life might be sometimes. But uh, that's a fun one. And also one called My Kind of Perfect, uh, which is a, a call my love song because it's just kind of describing what, uh, wondering what whoever that girl might be, or wondering what she's like, if I've met her and just don't even realize it. Um, it's a nice one for me to get to sing. Last Christmas with, uh, with the, the Mormon Town Rock Choir was one of the most memorable uh, performances I've been able to do. Uh, it was just very different from other performances I've gotten to do. It was amazing having a, that large of a choir behind you and a full orchestra and that m many people in the audience, four nights. and. Um, with that special of a choir, um, it was, uh, I felt really small, <laughs> but it was, it was a, an amazing thing to be a part of such a big thing like that. Um, there's some things in the work, but I'm not, I'm trying not to rush things too much right now. Um, you know, things are constantly changing, it seems, day by day, so I'm not sure what <laughs> is exactly going to come into play um, next, but um, they're definitely starting to have some works in, um, in some other projects and um, some other releases, albums. <laughs> My favorite hymn is, I, I have to say, well, one of my favorite hymns is Be Still My Soul. I really love that song. It's the lyrics and the melody have meant a lot to me. Um, then uh, my favorite primary song, I love um, I'm Trying to Be Like Jesus. I think that one's a really nice one. Or, uh, or the one that's uh, the, the If you don't look like most people do. I'll walk with you. Okay. It's hard. It's always changing, I think. Uh, I like a song called July Flame by Laura Veers a lot right now. I also like a song called No Intention by um, Dirty Projectors. Um, <laughs> I, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I still like Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Um, who else? I've been listening to, uh, I get confused with some of the names sometimes on Jason Mraz's Live at Java Joe's album, but I listen to that a lot. Um, what else? Oh, uh, there's a cover that Sarah Bareilles does of a Coldplay song. She does a cover of Yellow. Uh, I really like that too. I, don't, I still don't think I'm famous <laughs> or anything. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it depends on what people, what that word means to people. Um, uh, I take the word, I don't know. I, I think, look at it differently because of how other people usually uh, apply that word to things. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, being having a recognizable face and recognizable name or mm -hmm. voice, maybe. If I guess uh, the time where it was just like, whoa, um, was when I came home during Idol. It was just amazing to come home after just where I lived, where I hung out, and went to school. <laughs> Uh, coming back and seeing all the people there, it was really overwhelming in a, in a good way. Mm -hmm. Like I was just overwhelmed by the support that 
my hometown show and I wasn't expecting it. So being able to come back and see how much everyone appreciated what I was doing meant a lot to me and it was, uh, it just was really touching.